I have been in a bit of a creative slump lately. It has been challenging to find the time and the energy and the motivation to paint and to create. So I had this whole idea planned out for a video, but I think we're going to scrap that and we're just going to focus on unslumping because I have not made any new work in a little while. I did make this new canvas, so I want to get started on that today. That's what we're going to do. I also messed this up. The stretcher bar is too close to the actual canvas itself. It'll be okay. We're going to work with it. So yeah, anyways, oh, I was going to say, so as many of you know, maybe you're new here, maybe you don't know, I've been taking a pottery class too. And even in my pottery class, like I was feeling so motivated and excited. And then I just kind of lost momentum. We had like several weeks where we had to skip because of closures from hurricanes or Halloween, just holiday stuff. So I would start a project and then I had a project dry out and I couldn't work with it anymore. And so I restarted the whole project and then I finished it and it took me a really long time and then it cracked in the kiln. So I'm just kind of over it. Boy, good awareness of the canvas. Please be painting the mama in the studio. Look at mama. Look at mama. Look. Here's boy. Look at mama. Look at mama. Look what she's doing. I'm really excited about this painting. It's going to be the third in a series that is centered around the idea of wholeness. And the whole idea for this series came to me after a realization that the moments where I feel the most whole are the moments when I feel like a small piece of a bigger world. Not that I feel small necessarily, but that I feel like I'm part of something so much bigger than myself, but a necessary part nonetheless. I'm so afraid of painting. I'm going to set the brush. It's already messed up. I'm sorry, you need to. Really? <laughs> I don't give my new versions to people. <laughs> In those moments where I am just a small speck in this vast landscape, those are the moments that bring me the most peace and fill me with this sense of oneness, the sense of belonging. And so if you look at the first painting, there's this flower which represents warmth and home. And... In the flower, there is a house, and on the house, there are two people sitting on the roof looking out at this vast sky. And I really wanted to bring attention to the vastness of the sky in this painting. And it's 
built around this memory I have of sitting outside with a loved one, looking up at this beautiful night sky and just feeling so connected and at peace with myself, with the person next to me, with the world around me. The second painting in the series is of a person floating in this beautiful vast ocean with sun rays shining down and this painting is built around a memory I have of floating naked in the ocean it was on a very calm day and the ocean was this beautiful blue color and just floating there I felt so light and so held by this crazy gigantic ocean And it was just a really beautiful experience. And the third painting in this series is built on the memory I have of being in the Appalachian Mountains and sitting on a little cliffside and looking out at this incredibly vast landscape and me just this little speck on a big rock, a big rock that seemed so small compared to the landscape around it. And in that moment, I felt like I was a part of this landscape, like one little tree or one little animal in a bigger web of experience. And it's an amazing feeling. And it's something that I hope that all humans on this planet get to experience at several points in their life and I want my paintings to speak to that and to be a place where others can tap into that feeling of wholeness so that's you know why I'm doing this why I'm painting these paintings and the inspiration behind all of it it's what drives me to keep painting um so yeah anyways thank you for listening to me thank you for hanging out with me while I unslump. I definitely feel better after getting this painting started and painting with my partner and my dog in the room and making this video. So yeah, if you're feeling like you're in a creative slump, I encourage you to just get started on something and do it in a different way than you normally would. Invite someone into your space to create with you, uh, work on something that you normally wouldn't work on. I'm back in the groove with pottery too, making all kinds of mugs and bowls and such. Um, and it's a good time. So I'm grateful. I'm always, always grateful to come back to this creative practice and to know that it will always hold me and inspire me and, and fill me up again. And I think that that's really what I've been feeling lately. I've been so busy, just crazy, crazy busy and working on all of these different things. Um, And I hadn't really made time to sink into my creative practice. And I was just feeling drained. And I have to remember that when I'm feeling that way, the thing that fills me up I think even more than like sleep and eating sometimes creativity fills me up in a way that those things cannot on a a soul level. It really is nourishment for me. So again, thank you. I hope that this helped you in some way or if not that it at least mildly entertained you for a little while. Uh, Sending blessings your way. Farewell.